Welcome back to Jump Ball University. Professor Mo here with Basketball Lesson 107, Pick and Rolls. We're going to talk high pick and rolls, side pick and rolls, pick and pop. We're going to talk about rescreens, rejects, and flips. So let's get to it. The pick and roll is one of the most common actions in the NBA. It accounts for about 25% of teams' offenses. There's several different variations and many different ways to get into it. We're going to stick with some of the basics, starting with the high pick and roll, where the screen is set at the top of the three-point line. Here is a Houston Rockets high screen and roll with Nene as the screener and James Harden as the ball handler. Nene sets a solid screen which opens up the lane for Harden to get an easy layup. Here's an example when Darren Williams sets the ball screen for LeBron James and he splits the defense and gets an easy dunk. Here's a high screen and roll from Chris Paul and DeAndre Jordan. As Paul comes off the screen, both defenders go with him and he finds Jordan rolling to the basket for an easy dunk. Now let's talk about the side pick and roll, which is one of the screen set on either sideline. Here's an example from the Portland Trailblazers where Yusuf Nurkic is going to set a side pick and roll on Damian Lillard's man. Lillard's going to come off tight off the pick and roll and hit an elbow floater. Here's an example of Jordan setting a side pick and roll for Chris Paul. He does such a good job it actually forces the defender to go under the screen leaving Chris wide open for an easy jumper. Here's an example of Kyrie Irving getting a side pick and roll in transition. As he comes off the screen, the entire defense collapses on him and he uses a pocket bounce pass to hit the rolling Channing Fry. Now let's talk about pick and pop situations. This is when you'd have a shooting big set in the pick, like Dirk Nowitzki. Here he sets a high pick on J.J. Barea, and when Barea comes off the screen, instead of rolling to the basket, he pops out to three, and in this case here he's wide open and drills the three-pointer. And now Kevin Love is going to set a side pick on Kyrie Irving's man. Again, instead of rolling to the basket, just like in the last example, he's going to pop out for a wing three, and he nails it. And now let's talk about rejecting the screen, which is when the ball handler goes away from the ball screen. Like in this example here, when John Wall is getting a screen that would force him to go to his left, instead, he crosses over to his right and blows by the defender for an easy layup. He does the same thing against Utah when the defender jumps towards the screen and creates a wide open runway for him to just take off on for an easy layup. Now let's talk about flipping the pick, which is when the screener switches the angle of the pick at the last second. Like in this example here, Darren Williams approaches the defender on the left side making him think he's going to set the pick there, but switches the angle to the other side, which creates a lane for LeBron James to come down and hammer the ball. In this example, Marcin Gortat's going to flip the pick, starting on the left side, and the defender is going to react to him, so he's going to flip it to the right side, and this allows John Wall to get down the lane and find a cutter for an easy dunk. And now we're at rescreens, where the screener sets one pick and the ball handler comes off it, then he turns around and sets another pick and the ball handler comes off that one. Here's an example where Tristan Thompson is going to set a high pick for Kyrie Irving. Irving's going to come off, go into his right side, and Thompson's going to roll to the free throw line. They're going to see that there's nothing there, so Thompson rescreens and sets another pick, sending Irving going to his left, and he's going to roll to the basket. Irving finds him for a thunderous two-handed slam. Here, Yusuf Nurkic sets the first screen, and then is going to immediately turn around and set a second screen. So Dame's going to go off to his right, and then he's going to come back to his left. And when he comes back to his left, Nurkic is going to roll to the hoop and get a bounce pass and another easy dunk. And that's our class on the pick and rolls. We talked high pick and rolls, side pick and rolls, pick and pops, rejects, flips, and rescreens. Be sure to check out this class, any other class you may have missed, as well as our amazing content on thejumpball.net.